the Brothers Grimsby is your first action comedy. That's right. Although technically, there's always a lot of action in your comedies, and because, but in this case, it's scripted action. Usually, the people trying to kill you are really trying to kill you because yes. Yes. you're doing crazy things to them. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's the slight downside with doing the kind of reality-based film. Is it a downside or is it, is it kind of thrilling? Uh, it's usually uh, not very pleasant, actually. I don't know if you've ever had a sort of a few hundred uh, angry chassids chase you down the street <laughs> while, you're, while you're wearing a kind of camp uh, Hasidic outfit, but it's not not always that pleasant. I have I've never been chased by Hasids. I have been chased <laughs> by I think Star Wars fans once chased me. Oh yes, me. fair enough. Um, there and the, you know they have the lightsabers and everything. Well, we had one time where I did a movie called Bruno. Yes. Where <laughs> I was I was playing this gay Austrian fashionista, <laughs> and it's it was a romantic comedy, the normal kind of boy meets girl. Boy, you know, falls out with girl, boy ends up together with girl, except it was a boy and boy kind of romantic comedy. Right. And at the end, normally in an Adam Sandler movie, you know, the boy ends up with the girl in a baseball game and everyone cheers and it's put up on the jumbotron. We thought I should end up with my boyfriend in a cage match in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and the idea was, you know, we would start making out and kiss and everyone would be happy. Um, that was the idea, huh? That was, that yeah. was, the, uh, <laughs> that was the theoretical <laughs> idea. Now, the problem is you can't actually cross a state line to incite a riot. And the idea of the movie was actually to end it with inciting a riot in Arkansas while me and my co-star made out on stage. So um, that's the last line of the script. Yes, exactly. Riot ensues, we make out. Exactly. So. Uh, <laughs> I have a lawyer, actually, who uh, moved to Sri Lanka, and he has about 15 guys who work with him who are the experts in constitutional law, and they'll go, you know, in the... in uh, McCain versus Arkansas, 1964, there was clearly this... Uh, and they will sort of reference every single... Uh... So they're in Sri Lanka, they know about American law? Yes, they're just very cheap. That's why we use I them. I see. <laughs> and by the way, in case you think that's an offensive accent, it is actually the one I used for King Julian in Madagascar. I like to move it, move it. So <laughs> <laughs> that's based on that lawyer. That's... Oh, is it really? Yes. Yeah. So uh, we're told by our lawyers, you know, whatever you do, do not challenge anyone to a fight. So I'm in this cage and uh, my boyfriend comes into the cage <laughs> and there are 2,000 locals from Texarkana. I don't know if you know Texarkana I very do, well. I do, yeah. They're interesting locals. Uh, a few hundred of them had just been released from jail. Uh, <laughs> sort of nice swastikas on their head and that kind of, you know, friendly little symbols. <laughs> And, fans. Yeah, fa not exactly fans. <laughs> and I have a fight with this uh, boyfriend character in the movie, and they start booing me, and I panic. And when I panic, I often do not very rational things. Uh -huh. And so I said, OK, who of you want to fight? <laughs> I'm going to beat you up! <laughs> Thinking I'm in a cage, and no one's ever going to get into the cage. <laughs> and there were all these kind of... You know, we had 15 members of the Arkansas State Police there as well, who made it very clear that if we contravened any of the kind of 12 statutes for indecency, that I'd be arrested by them. So it was a choice between being arrested or just being kicked to death, essentially. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, uh, on the phone to my lawyers the night before, it's like, you know, you must remember, whatever you do, you can touch the nipple. But can I...? <laughs> Can I place a hand on the buttocks? Yes, but do not let the hand go within three centimeters of the rectum, you know. <laughs> so I'm there making out with this guy. <laughs> and then they get out with this guy and, you know, my co-star tries to put his hand near my rectum. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm pulling it back. And then somehow one of the uh, guys in the audience, um, I don't know how you'd <laughs> refer to them in a positive manner, uh, managed to saw through some of the metallic stakes that we'd use to hold down the chairs and started throwing in metallic chairs. Anyway, I'm kissing the boy... You know, this is the end of the movie. I'm thinking, this is gold. Yeah. I have to finish the movie. I'm lying there kissing this guy. And meanwhile, the metal chairs start landing. 
So I think if I lie on my back, I can actually just dodge the chairs. <laughs> anyway, meanwhile, I hear go, 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 and our security guard said, get the hell out of there. Wow, you really give 100 and maybe even 30% for these films. I mean, it is. Yeah, I'm probably, I have probably a mental problem. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.